Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rodney. Welcome to my video about Creep Production Abby Abominable. As you may know, I was really disappointed with the tinsel in her hair and also the hair quality. Um, I unboxed her alongside Gulia and I knew that she would be a lot of work, so it didn't come to me as a shock. But watch this video that I recorded really quick. Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly come on here and talk about my Abby Abominable Creep Production doll. Um, I was <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Actually, I'm very disappointed with her hair, but it wasn't totally shocking because I knew that she had the tinsel so I already had it in my mind that I'm gonna have to do a little bit of extra work to it I guess I didn't think that it would be as bad as it was I mean I guess I don't know how bad it was in the end is totally subjective but I feel like it didn't hold up well against the old you know the original Abby dolls so whatever um but here it was after the boil wash and as you can see the tinsel is already starting to pop up I let it dry overnight and listen to how it sounded when I combed through it mm-hmm <laughs> yeah, I was I was a little disappointed, but it's okay. I'm I'm gonna give her a reroute soon, so stay tuned for that video. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this is what you're gonna get if you get this doll and don't reroute her. <laughs> so yes, I had to brace myself for yet another Abby Abominable reroute, but I was actually really excited about it this time because it's been a while. Oh hi, Bippy! That's my niece. She's so beautiful. But I have never used Kanekalon for any of my reroutes, and I've never seen anyone else use Kanekalon, so I. I figured I'd give it a try. I got the hair from this website and I got the needles and everything, all the equipment. And uh, I was really surprised and pleasantly shocked at how well this hair turned out and the high quality that it is because it's fairly cheap. And again, I, I don't know why I've never seen anyone else use it. The color selection was a little vague, um, but I wasn't really going for like a one-to-one -one match with the original. I wasn't trying to reproduce the original Abby hair colors. So I was okay with like the blonde as opposed to the white and you know, the pink as opposed to the pastel pink. You know, I was okay with just a little bit of free will or like freedom of expression, so to speak. So yeah, I mean, in hindsight, I, I don't think I would have chosen this super vibrant pink because it kind of gives like G3 Frankie in the end. But again, this was like a, in a way, a test to see how a doll that I reroot will look and how. It, oh, she's like, yeah! I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see how Kanekalon would fare these days. Um, I know I, I have always been a fan of Kanekalon. Uh, so yeah <laughs> as usual with my reroutes i'm using this philips norelco shaver to shave her balls <laughs> every time i do this it reminds me of britney spears i mean I, I guess we can all assume why right but the link for that will be in the description she's actually really beautiful with a, a shaven head not this part right here but when i pull the hair out of the head through her neck hole she's really beautiful with a bald head you know and if that was my jush then i would have definitely pursued that but i i like long hair and that's what i decided to give her but i you know you couldn't tell right there but i got burnt so you, you can actually see the smoke coming out of the neck hole but um yeah this was a quite a fun experience after a while of not doing it um I just felt like it was new because of the saran that I was using in the past definitely wasn't giving me the results that I desired. It just wasn't as flat. It wasn't as silky. It wasn't as bouncy. You know, saran these days just isn't the same as saran back then. So I was stoked to find out that I could use Kanekalon and get those results that I so desperately desire. And also it's super satisfying. And this is also one of my favorite parts because of the satisfaction element of it uh, i like pulling the hair out of it it's just like super fun to watch and to do like it's like really therapeutic she would be really really cute with all blue hair like i think i want to do that if i'm a if i'm ever able to snag another creep production abby i think i would give her all blue hair or maybe like blue and white you know i don't know but um yeah so i, I did add some some hints of black um you can't totally tell because i added it to the back of her head um, and I thought it was really cute like that. I don't know why I even recorded that clip because you can't even see the freaking hair on the bed, but whatever. It's actually been brought to my attention that there are different strands 
wait what am i talking about different variants of uh creep production abby and the way that her tinsel is so there's this other tinsel that i did not receive that's kind of curly and i think it's a little, a little bit of a higher quality tinsel but either way i really do i did want to execute uh, another reroute regardless also i wouldn't have known i wouldn't have known about how great connect was if i didn't have a messed up abby so it's all good and it all worked out uh, my finger for some reason really got obliterated this time around whenever it came to me using the needle to grab the hair off of my finger like that never normally happens what is that on my wall it's like something what is that one of the bigger things that i did note while rerouting using connectalon was that it definitely takes a lot longer than using like nylon or saran uh, i think it's because like it's like a really thin like fiber i guess <laughs> i have no idea but it's definitely a different experience look you can see here just how much black hair i used i used like the lower third what am i talking about i'm just saying things at this point i use like the bottom half of her like back of her head and as you can see here she looks like she's cosplaying g3 frankie but it's okay in the midst of the process typically i like to use the like the back end of the flat iron to ensure that the part line stays where i need it to stay like, like part line thatching is like something i'm not really good at and it's something that always gives me paranoia so i just want to make sure that all of the hairs are in place and make sure that everything is aligned to where it needs to be and all of the hair falls on the on their respective sides so yeah i used a fabric glue i actually had um a, a different type of fabric glue um but it spilled and now it's just like a, a big rubbery mass in my like chest thing so that sucks but yeah i ordered this from amazon and it came in clutch just in time for this video um and so now here i am cutting her hair oh this is another thing that i'm super scared of as a, a dog like creator or whatever i do not like cutting doll hair or doll customers that's what i meant i hate cutting doll hair it freaks me out and so i just decided to leave her hair longer i wanted to give her layers but i was like no i don't have the guts to do that mind you it took a really long it's like 24 hours to do her reroute which is way longer than it would normally take i think it's like double the time that a typical reroute for me would take so yeah but this is it um let her sit to dry overnight and that's all i had to do or i poured hot water over her head and that was all i had to do i did go in with the flat iron after filming this but it made no difference all you need with this hair literally is boiling water and barely even that it's so perfect like look at it it's so silky and it's just fun to play with and it's super soft i forgot to mention that in the tiktok it's extremely soft and i would highly recommend it for people who like customizing their dolls and who actually take their dolls more seriously than children. Um, I don't think this fiber would be good for children because it is a little, a little messy and I think it's what well, it can get tangled really easily. And also I think it can break a lot faster than saran or nylon. So you gotta be careful and mindful of that. Um, but yes, giving her this hair really brought up like her value, at least for me. It made her feel a lot more high quality and just really worth it. Cause I've always loved Abby. She's an endearing character. So I would have hated to have the creep production just sit there with how her hair looked like prior. That would have been just, you know, depressing because her outfit's so cool and she has a lot of fur and her, it's like really soft to the touch and stuff. So I just kind of want her hair to mirror that. And here we are. This is pretty much everything that I could ask for whenever I think about a doll with straight hair. Um, un unfortunately, a lot of times when it comes to nylon and saran, you can straighten it and it it's supposed to be straight, but it doesn't necessarily produce those straight results the same way that this does it'll have like a little bit of a curl to it at the end and also the thing about nylon hair is that if the hair is in a certain position for an extended period of time it's the hair is going to conform to that shape and it's not going to remain pin straight the way that this connectalon does like i can have the connectalon rest over her hands and it's not going to be a bend in the hair around the hand area but yeah, um, you can see how flat it lies and it just, it looks like something that, it looks canon to me. Not necessarily the colors, but at least the shape of the hair. It looks like this is the way that she was meant to look. And it's really unfortunate that most people can't receive that, they can't have that. Because if I could like produce dolls that have this kind of hair and they, they can all like be easily restorable and easily fixable, 
that would be amazing maybe one day you never know but yeah i'm just so mesmerized by it and i would highly suggest and recommend you to try it if you do send me pictures um i have really cool vid idea for my next video but that'll be it for this video thank you so much um i love you guys and stay tuned for the next video hopefully it'll be more fun than this we'll see <laughs> i love you bye